Just to be clear, crepey skin is not wrinkled skin. Crepey skin is thin and looks crinkled like crepe paper. The skin can also look saggy or loose and feel fragile and thin. On the face, crepey skin is most common under the eyes. On the body, I noticed it first on my upper inner arms. There are many causes of crepey skin, but the number one aggressor is the sun. Let's begin with UV damage. Damage to the skin caused by exposure to the sun is responsible for 80% of visible changes to the skin. UVA's longer wavelength penetrates the dermis, where an architecture of fibers and molecules, including collagen and elastin, are busy at work keeping your skin thick and bouncy. UVA hits this perfectly made scaffolding and begins damaging the fibers by creating abnormal elastin causing alterations in the extracellular matrix collagen proteins. This damaged elastin results in the production of an enzyme which builds damaged collagen, often malfunctioning and degrading the collagen resulting in incorrectly rebuilt skin. Remember, collagen is mostly responsible for the strength and resilience of the skin. Collagen fibrils have an estimated half-life of only 17 years, meaning in 17 years, these fibrils at optimal conditions are operating at 100% for only 17 years before they begin to break down. So these damaged collagen fibrils accumulate over time and have long-lasting consequences on the skin's structure and functions. One study showed that a single exposure to UV causes almost a complete loss of pro-collagen synthesis, the first steps in collagen production for up to 24 hours, followed by a recovery time of 48 to 72 hours after the UV exposure. Putting this into perspective, you lay out in the sun on Sunday and your collagen production is affected until Thursday. That's almost four full days of negatively affected collagen production. Glycation is a process where excess sugar molecules attach themselves to other molecules in your body, specifically proteins and fats. Collagen and elastin are the skin proteins most prone to glycation. These sugar molecules adhere to the collagen and elastin proteins, which normally keep our skin firm and bouncy. They become rigid and lose their ability to keep the skin firm. The end result is thin, dry skin with a loss of elasticity and oxidative stress and inflammation. Age is also an obvious factor with regards to crepey skin. As you age, your skin produces less oil than it did when you were younger. These oils create an important lipid barrier that protects your skin and helps seal in moisture. When that lipid barrier decreases, the water loss through your skin increases. If you like what you've seen and want more of the same, please hit like and subscribe. Hormonal changes can also lead to drier skin and less natural oil production. Normally, most women begin entering menopause after age 40, and our natural production of estrogen begins to decline. Since estrogen stimulates the formation of collagen and oils, as our estrogen production diminishes, dry, crepey skin becomes more common, as well as our body's ability to retain moisture. Looking at our Fitzpatrick scale, Fitzpatrick's one through three are more prone to crepey skin than Fitzpatrick's four through six. Let's talk about dehydration. The average adult is about 60% water. Your skin is approximately 63% water. Water is required for our cells to transport nutrients and minerals throughout our bodies. When we become internally dehydrated, our body will begin moving water from one place to another, trying its best to use every drop necessary to keep us functioning at maximum performance. Your skin might take a lower priority to your liver or your kidneys, let's say. Your skin will become more and more dehydrated from water loss. Dehydration also prevents your body from eliminating and excreting toxins properly. This can lead to a whole list of additional issues over and above crepey skin. Smoking, pollution, and stress are all direct causes of crepey skin. Smoking results in less blood flow and minimizes the amount of oxygen and nutrients that reach the skin. Smoking also decreases your ability to produce collagen and elastin. Excessive weight loss is normally a time to celebrate, but one of the side effects may be crepey, sagging skin. 
Your skin has stretched to cover the large volume, but hasn't had a chance to snap back after weight loss. Hopefully, time will take care of this. Otherwise, there are surgical alternatives. Excessive sugar consumption causes inflammation in the body, resulting in dehydration as well. Medications can definitely contribute to the grape. Prednisone and other steroids are the most common, but prescription pain medication can cause severe dehydration of the entire body. So we've covered the most common causes of crepey skin. How do we make recommendations to our clients? 